Next week, Brainerd will examine the face of local poverty in a week-long campaign called Poverty Bound. The series of events will focus on a different aspect of poverty each day. Becky Parker tells us how several community organizations and individuals are working together to educate the public. Many people know that poverty exists in the Brainerd Lakes area, but they may not know what it looks like. As they look out and they see our area, it's beautiful. Um, there's a lot of wealth, you know, but what they don't see is that there's also a lot of poverty. And, you know, I mean, beauty's in the eyes of the beholder, and oftentimes poverty just isn't beautiful, beautiful, so people just don't see it. That's why a collaboration of organizations and individuals are aiming to educate people about local poverty. We're conditioned to see poverty in a certain way, and really, poverty isn't, it isn't about, you know, the welfare bombs, it isn't about people with their hand out, and really, there's a new face of poverty that's emerging. With the rise of foreclosures and unemployment, many people who were considered middle class are falling into poverty. Poverty. These are the people who right now are the ones that are hurting and sometimes hurting the most. Each day we'll examine a different aspect of poverty from housing to education to health and wellness. The idea is to give a well-rounded view of what different organizations do to deal with the issue. The first event this Monday will be a public discussion at Central Lakes College's Chalberg Theater. It will focus on the government's role in battling poverty, including what is being done and what more could be done. The general public, you know, do they see, you know, a lot of times, you know, what we see, especially working 24-7 um, uh, on the streets? Probably not, you know. So, I mean, hence, you know, the whole awareness. The title of the campaign, Poverty Bound, is meant to be interpreted several different ways. But one of those is that the entire community is bound together by the issue of poverty. Unless we face this as a community and come together around it and use our collective efforts to combat it, there's no way we can move forward. And organizers hope that better awareness will help the community move forward in the fight against poverty. Becky Parker, Lakeland News. Monday's Rosenmeyer Center Forum on Poverty starts at 7 p.m. Lakeland News will feature poverty-bound events in a series throughout next week. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.